Hey brothers and sisters, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but anyway, I hope y'all are having a blessing today. Again, I want to greet y'all in the name of God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifi notifications for future videos. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. So, today um, I'm going to be making a video about having true faith. And... Now, now I know, know some of you are wondering, like, what this video is going to be about. What, like, why am I making this video? And the purpose of this video is, is for y'all to know the, diff the difference between having false faith and true, true faith. And nope, I'm going to go off based on what I currently know on my walk with Christ. And before I go deep into the topic, I'm going to read from Hebrews chapter 12, 11, 11 verse 6. And it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is mortal of them that diligently seek him. And also it says in James chapter 2, verses 20, But what thou know, O faint man, that faith without works is dead. Brothers and sisters, picture two, two trees. One tree is bearing fruit while the other is not producing any fruit it's it's a point it's pointless to have it to even have a tree tree there and imagine these two trees being in a in someone's someone's backyard and let's say and let's say the the person who the owner of the house goes to his backyard and got us got us the fruit and bring us to the house and over time, he does this. And when he sees that, that tree not bearing any fruit, guess what he's going to do? He's going to cut, 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 cut that tree cut that tree off of the axe and just get rid of it. And just like, and just like having faith, if, if you don't have, have true faith, then, then you're not going to make it to heaven. Because... Because he, because he chooses to have, have false faith. And the thing is that that's not the type of faith that God, God calls us to have. The, you see, the thing about having true faith is that it should be bearing fruit. And, and one of the things it should be bearing is producing good works. Now hear me out. I know some of you are going to say that I'm justifying work, salv work salvation. Well, I do, does, does faith alone save? Yes, of course it does. Faith only faith alone can get you to heaven. Like what what good is good works works are gonna just go doing good works as a Christian is gonna get you to heaven. Like what's good is that? Yes, faith alone does does save you. But if if that faith but if you have if you have a true faith, if your faith is is sincere and genuine, your faith your faith should be producing works. It should be producing obedience. It should be producing praise and, and giving all, God all the honor, praise, and glory. That's what your faith should be producing. But if it's not producing that, then you have false faith. Then you, it's not really it's not really faith, is it? This type of faith I'm talking about, the false faith, is that it's like any worldly worldly person who goes to church, and this type this type of person who has this false faith is is. It's like he says he believes in Jesus. Yes, he's a church goer. Yeah, that's that's true. And yes, he may he may go he may go do this and that from time and time. He may do heck. He may he may be a religious person. He may do good works. But the thing is, he may he may be be in the church, acting at the all all nice, all all dressed up, all pripped pripped up. He may be giving God all the honor, praise, and glory, but for the rest of the week, his lifestyle says otherwise. His lifestyle is worldly. He's of this world, and he says, and he said, and and this type of person is telling other people that he believes in Jesus, and and people are like, mm, he's just like us. He he ain't no believer. He ain't no Christian. <laughs> He's just like he's just like us. He ain't no different. 
And yeah, some and yeah, some people some people read the Bible. Some people people read read the Bible, and they and they know know who's know if you're living living a different lifestyle for them. They know if you're if you're really a believer. Who you say who you say you are. Yeah, like who are you fooling? You may try to fool other people, but you can't fool God. You can't, because God knows. God knows everything you do behind closed doors. The people you try, you try and you try and seek approval from. You try and you try to get praise from. They might, they may not know what you do behind closed doors, but God knows what you do behind closed doors. God knows the type of lifestyle you're living in, and God knows the type of faith you have. This false faith, it ain't, it ain't true faith. It's not sincere. It's not saving. It's not. And from every times, hey, it may do this, this, this person, this type of faith may try to do good works. Sometimes he might not do this type of, this person with this type of faith might not do good works. But the thing about this faith is that it's worldly. It's not living, it's, walk, it's not walking, but he's, he's walking by, by sight and not by faith. He doesn't have a relationship with God. He doesn't truly, he doesn't personally know you know, God does have a relationship with him. And also, he's trying he's trying to win, win the approval of man. He, man, and he's trying to receive praise from them. This type of person with this type of faith is is a prideful person. Like, it is what it is. And it and and yeah. If you have this type of faith, this false faith. You're not gonna make it to heaven, and you're not gonna please God. You see, the thing is that true having true faith is the only way to get to heaven by having true faith in Jesus Christ. And if you, and again, if you had true faith, your faith will be producing producing and bearing fruit. But you have false faith; it's not producing anything. And it's nothing more but a useless tree that's just gonna that's gonna just gonna be thrown away and thrown into it cast into the furnace and Jesus is like that if Jesus sees that you're not producing any fruit in your life he's gonna he's gonna cast you into into the furnace to help for all eternity have true have true faith brothers and sisters true faith in Christ and what I mean that by that is not not only doing good works, but have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And the thing about good works is that good works is a your faith, the true faith have producing good works, is our way as believers is to express thank thankfulness and gratitude towards God for what He has done for our life, and and what He has delivered us from. That's a way. Way of, that's a way of saying thank you. Thank you, God, for what you've done for my life. Thank you that I did this. Thank you that I did that. That's why that's why believers do that's why us believers do what we do. That's why that's why we do good works. That's why we're trying to spread the gospel gospel. That's why we're trying to be obedient. That's true faith. And that's the type of faith God wants us to have. And what good is having false faith? Like it's, it's not very anything. And another another thing is that about having true faith is that that you try you try to go closer to God each and every day. You try you try to do it, and you try you try not to live a lifestyle of sin. You try you try to repent and turn away from that. And every time and time you may fall. You may fall short, but you get back up because it says in Proverbs that a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. That's what having true faith is. Having true faith is remaining steadfast in your faith and showing and showing love love towards other people and bearing the fruit of love, joy, peace, long over faith, self control, self control. Forgive me if I don't get all of them. <laughs> Goodness and mercy. It should be producing those fruit, and it should be producing good works. 
That's what it truly means to have the true fame with Christ. Anyway, I hope y'all got something out of this video. And today, I'm challenging y'all today is to, to examine your faith and examine your relationship with, with God and, to, and ask yourselves, do I truly have faith in, in Jesus Christ? Or am I just of the world? And if you, if you are just the world, then I highly encourage y'all to to come to the Lord Jesus Christ and accept him into your life, accept him into your heart because he wants to use you and he wants to have a personal relationship with you. Anyway, that's all I got. Don't be religious, follow Christ.